Hello friends, in this video we will see how to start with AngularJS. In this video we will try to create a simplest AngularJS page and we also discuss what things we need to create a simple AngularJS page. Now in order to create a simple AngularJS page we need below mentioned things. AngularJS script file or we can use CDN of the AngularJS, NGF directive of AngularJS and the expressions. So let's see what these three things are. First is the CDN, the Content Distribution Network. It is largely distributed system of proxy servers deployed in multiple data centers across the internet. The goal of CDN is to serve content to end users with high availability and high performance. Now in layman language, CDN is basically a data storage, a repository where all the JS files are present. So in order to use that, we have a CDN URL. So you have to refer that URL and you will be able to leverage the facility or functionality of that JS file. So by using the CDN, you don't have to download the JS file, you don't have to maintain the file, you just have to use the CDN URL. So I hope you are clear with the CDN. So let's move to the ng app. Now this is the Angular directive which is used to initialize Bootstrap and Angular JS application in HTML page. Now basically ng app directive tells the browser that the content inside this tags where this ng app will be used will be handled by ng or will be handled by angular js so whatever content or whatever directive you use inside this tag that will be handled by angular js now we should declare the ng app directive in the html body or div tag based on where we plan to use the angular js directives as i said earlier and without adding the ng app directive, the other AngularJS directives and expressions will not work. So basically, if you don't include ng app directive in your HTML page, you won't be able to use AngularJS directives and expressions and other things. For a simple application, we can just specify the ng app directive in the HTML body or dev tags without any specific names or follows. For example, you can have ng app being specified in the HTML tag as we have shown here now we can also bind this ng app to a particular module but for now you can specify only ng app we'll see how we can do using the module how binding to the module in our further videos moving to expressions now angular expressions are much like javascript expressions so angular expressions are written inside a double curly basis and angular expressions bind data to the html so the basic functionality of angular expression is to bind data to the html now, angular js has its own mechanism to pass the expression and find the semantic out of it for example so we can we can have a arithmetic operation inside the expression we can concatenate two strings for string operations we can have logical conditions we can define an array and we can find length of an array inside the expressions we can also use objects inside the expressions so we'll see all of these examples once we create a simple page. So let's move to creating a page. So I'll be using Notepad++ plus plus as my editor. And let me save this file first. So I'm going to save this file at my desktop. And I have created a separate folder that is AngularJS demo. And let me... save this file as angular demo start and I'm going to save it as HTML file so let me add basic tags of HTML so I'm adding head section inside head section I'm also giving the title section I'm mentioning that my title as angular demo and I'm also defining the body section. So inside body, I'm just having a header tag that is h3. Okay, so let's open this file and check whether it renders or not. So inside this folder, I have an Angular demo start. So you can see Angular demo. Now, the first thing we are going to add is the CDN or the reference of JS file. So I'm going to show you the example of CDN. So I have to go to 
just go to the Google search AngularJS. The first page it will show is the HTTPS AngularJS org. This is the official website of AngularJS. So you can find all the content from here. You can find demos and videos as well. And there's a download button in the middle. You have to click on that button. A pop-up will be displayed. So here, you from here you can download the JS files in the media, minified minified version or you can download it in the uncompressed version but we are going to use the CDN so we have to copy this CDN URL let's close the tab and inside my head section I'm going to refer this CDN so I'm setting the source of the script and I'm closing the script tag so now my first part is done so the next part is defining the ngf directive so for now i am defining it at body level so i am defining it as ngf and the third part is declaring the expression so for now um let's start with the arithmetic operations So if I refresh it, you can see three Similarly, if I remove this ng app from here and try to check what effect it has so you can see it is showing the same text that we have rendered in the HTML So this is now being handled as a typical HTML and as soon as we get our ng app back so this expression will be handled by AngularJS. So this is what ngApp and this is what significance ngApp has. So similarly, we can have string operations inside the expressions. So we can concatenate the two strings. And similarly, we can have logical condition as well, like true is equal to equal to 1 so this will give me true and if I say true equal equal to 0 it's going to give me false and then we have we can specify arrays as well like 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and then 5 and if you check you can see a array and then we can also evaluate its length using the length property and if we refresh it it will going to give me 5 we can also use object inside the expressions object like let me have two properties inside my object the first property is my name so my name is sesc and my location is paint okay then I can use dot operator to print my name so I am only printing my name if I refresh the page you can check sesc so if I have to print my location so I have to use location after the dot operator so you can check Spain so these this is all about expressions so now let me get back to an arithmetic operation that is 1 plus 2 and I'm going to shift this ng app to a div level. So let me create a covering div for my content. Okay, and I'm going to specify this to div. And if I refresh my page, it will still evaluate to 3. Now, if I use any expression outside this div, like 3 plus 4 now this 3 plus 4 will not be evaluated because this 3 plus 4 is outside my div where I have specified ng app so this will be evaluated as a normal HTML only expressions defined inside this div will be evaluated as angular expressions so this is this is all about how you create a simple angular JS page wherein you have to specify the CDN you have to refer the CDN you have to include the ng app directive 
and you can use the expressions we'll see how we can do complex things with the angular js in our future videos i hope you like this thank you friends